Good evening. It is almost half past nine here in the UK, which is half past four Eastern time. And I'm going to just recap my trades for the day. So on my screen at the moment is the MES and we're looking at the daily chart. So things of interest today are the fact we came down to this area here and the fact we touched or very closely touched this 200 moving rising average and we haven't really rejected it but we bounced, we bounced off of it so so that's significant and this is an area of demand as well all this area so area we've been watching for and it was a good target for one of my trades today which I'll get into in a second um, next which way are we going to go if we see a bounce off of this area we could potentially be coming back up to this neckline area to retest it either down or we could be going breaking up through it kind of, or up so two possible outcomes we could watch for um, we're looking pretty bearish at the moment so potentially we'll see tomorrow whether we're going to break down we need a break down through this 200 moving average and through this demand zone it's no coincidence as well that this demand zone has got all this extra volume as well as you can see on the on this orange point of control line that's where the extra volume is concentrated volume and it happens to be just below this demand zone so we could be seeing natural resistance around this area but we'll see because you know we've, we're looking pretty bearish we've also let's go into the weekly for a second we're in a weekly downtrend, so we're putting in a lower, lower high, a higher, lower high, and a lower low. And if we were to just put play the fibs on the weekly, let's put two lots of fibs in. I'm going to do that one, and I'm going to do this pivot here, at, and you will see that we've got two fibs pretty close to each other so if we are going to get a pullback from this level then potentially we could see a pullback to that area and here we've got 40 and that happens to be 4500 and we've got the 618 and the 50 percent fibs pretty close to each other and if you look to the left here we've got a little bit of natural resistance on this even though it's not the highest amount of resistance so this could we could be seeing extra volume on that area as well so keep an eye on 4500 as a potential um, it's a potential um, retracement area. Let's get rid of the fibs again. Going on to the daily. Let me just do the fibs again on the daily so we can see where we are. Do those last two pivots. You can see. You know, they're pretty equally spaced out. We said 4,500, didn't we? Um, where's that? That is around here. You can see the extra volume coming in on the daily. That's the weekly. So on the daily, we've got this entire area, but probably around this area here, we'll be watching 44.80 for a potential rejection if we get a response from today's bottom. Let's go with them again. So let's go into the five minutes to go over the trades for today. Uh, before we do that, let's look at the NASDAQ. It made a pretty significant low today. So we finally broke down through this weekly pivot, putting in a lower low, lower high, higher low. Uh, lower, been a long day, that one, yeah. And we've broken down, we're potentially putting in a lower low next. So we'll see where we're heading for there. If we had to find a location for a lower low. Potentially, we could be watching this area, here, and that happens to be 14,400. So, this is a potential area we could look to get down to. We could be looking at a potential bounce around that area if we do get down. Yeah, just have a look at the fibs for a sec. So, that's something to bear in mind on the weekly so 
Q's are flying, you know, the um, Nasdaq's been pretty strong all year. And it's the first time we've seen some, a downtrend on the weekly. Okay, let's go back into the MES five minute. So I, had, I took a couple of trades today. Um, my first one was a long, just after the open. And no, it was, where were we? Just after the open, 9.30 here. So I, I went long at this point here and it was a bounce off a level 40, 43, 44. And it was okay, I was targeting the VWAP for my target and I had two contracts, but and I think my average price was about here on that on that reversal, which was around 43, 48, 43, 50 area. On hindsight, maybe I should have used um, the pre-market low as my first out, um, specifically this area here. As you can see, it came up or it came up, touched it, and then rejected it. But I missed it. My my I missed it probably by a few ticks. So I stopped out a little bit of break even there, and I stopped out when I broke down through this um, area. I had marked off on the chart. I tried along again, and where did I go long? It was here with my target up here, and again, I missed my target. A bit frustrating, and I stopped out of break even. And I tried one more long down here, and it was on high volume as well. And I thought it might be an ending volume. I got in. My stop was there, and it was just going sideways, so I stopped myself out of break even. Um, I didn't want to like it. So I was down. I was down basically two R by the time I got to here. And then after lunch, I was looking for another long because I saw it break out, and then I saw a bit of it bounce off of this channel. This, this channel we had in the 60 minute, so it bounced off the middle channel line, and so I. And I missed my long again, so I waited. And then as soon as we, as soon as we, I saw it was breaking down through here, which again was on momentum this time. Um, I went short. I switched my direction, and it was a good short because we had this big push down, and then it pulled back to this area. Probably should have taken a second or a second lot. I had two contracts from here, but because I was already down, I was just playing it safe. My stop was quite tight above there as well. And I just want to let it run. My target was 4300, and there's a reason for that. I'm just going to show you a screenshot I took earlier today on Bookmap. So I was in around here somewhere, and um, I was targeting 4300, but I was targeting just above 4300 where all the buyers were. And let's see how it went. You can see we came all the way down. And we didn't quite get to 4300, we got to 4305.50. And my my target was there, so I missed my target. So as it came back up, I set that as my I was I moved my pivot from I moved my stop from break even to the top of this pivot and I just got stopped out on the way up. So I did take profit as we came down to this area on one contract, and then I took the other one out around about the time. So I ended the day red. Not much red, it was um, a very small loss today, but red red still. In fact, I took one more trade and that was on oil. And as you can see on the daily, we were in an uptrend still, so I didn't really want to risk shorting it because I was going against the trend. So the short I took, I was playing this top area and it was around two o'clock it was we broke down through this area here i went short there as it broke down below this 50 moving average as well and i thought we were going to see a bit of a pullback and potentially targeting the vwap but as you can see volume just dried right up especially after i got in that last push down on momentum was the last bit of volume i saw day and the volume just tailed off and so i got out probably about half an hour loss and my out was there.
might be in fact no my out was there actually because I tightened up my loss I, I didn't want to my originally my loss was high of the day so that <clears throat> that was my out just there so glad I got out because it didn't really wouldn't have really done much maybe I could have got out in the post market but I didn't want to risk it I was out and I was pretty much done really um, where are we now so tomorrow what can we what can we expect tomorrow and some of the daily the hourly so we're still playing between these these um, three range bars and um, range lines. So these are the range we were watching originally, and then it broke out. And then today I added in this extra um, downward line, and then we broke back down. We came out, retested it again. So it's, they're still pretty much in play. So potentially we could see it come back up to 43, 31, and then reject, continue the trend down. But we won't know until tomorrow. I think cost are having their earnings tonight. I think earnings season starts. Cost. I'm not sure if they they've not announced anything yet. But um that might make make the um MES move in after hours. So what am I looking for tomorrow? If we can get back down and if we can get into this demand zone. Let's go into the daily. So, so we've got this 200 moving average. If we can break down, retest this area, then potentially we're looking for a short, high concentrated volume at these areas as well. So it's going to be quite tough getting through this area. So more likely we're going to see a bit of a bounce. And maybe, I think we said earlier, using the fibs, so we can kind of get an idea of where we might bounce back to. Potentially looking at 45, 45.50 through to 44.64. Maybe retest this low on the neckline so we could get a bit of a bounce back up to this area and maybe continue the trend, this this um, downward trend. That's potentially what we could be looking for. Um, we are pretty extended now from the 50, the 20 and the 8. So we do need this to pull back at some point. Maybe, maybe next few days will be our pullback we're waiting for and then we'll watch this neckline. So do you remember we talked about this head and shoulders pattern and this is the neckline the head and shoulders we're watching for. So we really want to come back to that area and retest it and break back down again. And it might be a good short as well, but we'll see. Um, that's, that's it, me, that's me done for the day. I'm pretty tired, I've been in front of my computer for a long time. So I'm going to call it a night and I will see some of you tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to like this video and if you're around at 9 a.m. Eastern Time or 2 p.m. here in the UK. I have a live pre-market video where I go through all the levels. We see where the markets move during the post and pre-market, and then I, I work out what levels I want to take for the day. And you can see pretty much the levels work pretty well. So even today, so if we go over the last few days. This level is in play. This level is definitely in play. The daily. This level is back in play again. Then we in play there, we came through. This level's in play, this level's in play, this level's in play. Bear in mind, you could just play these levels and then we reject it. Then that level's in play there, we rejected it down here, came straight through, pulled back. That level's back in play again today. Come back down, and wherever we finish, we don't know yet. But we've got this demand zone as well, so this could be in play as well. So Levels work really well. Look at these levels. There's, there's potential here for lots and lots of trades. If you had to take some higher risk level trades, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trades just from the last four days. And if you take the levels, set your stop below, you'd be pretty good. So the levels work really well. So that's why I love playing levels stress-free as well because um, the levels I create these levels hours before the pre hours before the market opens or during the pre-market video I do the live video and I already know what levels I'm watching there's no stress I can just set a set a target or set a set a, set a um, buy or sell order and then I can walk away if I wanted to just set it as an OCO and just let the market play itself out um, you know, even even if the levels break, you can look for break and retest these levels. Exactly what I did today, um, at at this point here, and 
and all the levels are based on significant areas of confluence or resistance, support, demand and supply. It's very simple, very easy, very stress free. So, so pretty much levels work really well and that's all I want to say. Okay, well have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching.